We are headed to a yard sale, but not any yard sale. Check this out. This is the yard sale that we're on our way to. And as you heard my queen say, it's not any yard sale. Uh, they actually have this sitting out there. Uh, it's a 1986 Honda Magna. And uh, as soon as I saw this ad, guys, I contacted the lady. I let her know I am on the way, okay? <laughs> so she gave me the address. And, uh, you know, right now, it's pretty much all a, a game of chance. Right. You know, uh, this bike could be sold before we even get there. <laughs> You know, as she said that it's going to the highest bidder. Right now, my bid is pretty much $600, but I'm not being greedy. If I have to give the lady her asking price of 700, it's still a steal of a deal right. for a Honda Magna. This looks like a V45. Uh, this doesn't look, this doesn't look like the V65, uh, which is the bigger the bigger uh, Magna. But the V45 uh, is still very 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 quick, yeah. very lightweight, and it's a V4. So uh, she's definitely a monster. I'll go through the pictures here for you. Look at that right there. Look at that. She's I like that beauty. they, right babe? I like that they uh, made the bike look like a bobber. Right. I thought that was pretty cool. Sorry for the shaky video guys, we're on the road. <laughs> so here is the woman's advertisement. Obviously it says, please call for details. We need it sold today since we're moving. Highest bidder takes it home. We have it out at a yard sale now. If anyone wants to come see it, PM it for address. That's exactly what I did. Here is a picture of the bike. As I said, beautiful. I really like that they set it up as a bobber because right. I mean, this thing, different. this thing is as light as it gets. I was telling my wife, all this bike needs right now is a set of drag bars and it's done. done. It would look so clean. Got some bikers out here. We just pulled up. Let's check out the bike, y'all. So excited. Getting so close to it, y'all. So excited. <laughs> it sounds like it's not running yeah. right now from the conversation he's having with somebody. Yeah, else. I heard that. that. He's already on the phone with somebody right? else. Right? Yeah, it sounds like the guy is trying to come here and ride it home. Yeah. Man, he might as well hang the phone up. <laughs> he might as well hang the phone up with that dude. Right, and, and just come, come right over, over here. here. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty much already sold. Thank you. I got me a trailer. Thank you. Look, oh, can't really see it, but there's the trailer. Yep, yeah, no. there's the trailer. Hey, how are you? Hey, sorry. Somebody keeps showing you have been calling. I understand. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, I'm the guy who messaged you on Facebook. Oh, yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was just looking to pick up uh, the, the bike if possible. Um, I kind of heard your, your phone call that it's not really running right now. Yeah, so I, I messed with it a little bit on Monday, and I put a jump pack on it, and it was being, it, it would crank over fine, but it's, the gas is so old in it. I, I see. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like it just kind of needs a fuel overhaul. Yeah, it's, I mean... It's been, the gas has been sitting in there for a year. It, I mean, it, it's, it's been in the carbs too, so I imagine they're all, I see. they're all gummed up. Okay. But, no, it'll, it'll turn over, but that's, that's about all it's doing right now. Did you see the video? Yeah, I did. I saw the video of it running. Yeah, that's, yep. so I, the guy who got it, I got this bike on a trade, and that's why the title's a little funky. The, the uh, seller's side is filled out, yep. but the buyer's side isn't, so you'd have to find a notary who would sign it for I see. You. Yeah. I see. Wow. But, uh, yeah. I mean, it's... Yeah, I see what you mean by yeah, the title being that's, a little funky. That's, that's why it's priced as low as, as it is, because, you know, it's... So, so tell me, with it not running right now, with the title being the way it is, I have my, I have a trailer here, yeah, so I have cash in my pocket. Yeah. What is the absolute least you would take right now, cash, and I walk with the bike, $400? If 
Let's do it. Let <laughs> me help you push up the hill. Um, I got it. I'll just give you the money. All right, cool. Yeah, and so I'll, I'll, I'll show you something. There's, a, there's another bill of sale in here if it helps you out at all. Right there. Yes, sir. But awesome. That's, yeah. That's that's where all that stuff is right there. Okay. Man, this is going to be a fun little project. I honestly. hope so, man. Thank I, so I, I just, I'll tell you, it's going to a good home. I had it running good in that video, and it was like, I was, I was I going to get a back tire on it, and we started working six pins at work. And I was, oh, wow. Okay, I understand you. how that goes, man. Got no more time. One, two, three, four hundred cruise screen ones. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. You yes, sir. good? Yep. We're oh, good, yeah. Man. Thank you. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Yes, sir. Uh, I hope you. I hope you can treat that thing. Oh, I will. I could, man. I, oh, I promise I, I you. See it go, but. I, I definitely will, man. All right, sure you don't need any help. Oh, I do not, but I I, I appreciate it. Yes, sir. All right, thank y'all. Thank you. What? Let's go. Woohoo! Careful, Callie. Go ahead, mama. Woo! <laughs> Little mama, I might need an arm. Oh, goodness. I okay. might need an arm. Oh, you, there oh, we girl. go. One arm. There we go. Yeah. Woo! Let's go. <laughs> oh, Callie's pushing my butt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the tires are flat. Woo! That's why it doesn't really want to roll. Yeah. The tires are... Careful, Callie. Pretty much completely flat. Careful, Mama. Hey, Four hundred dollars. Let's go. Let's go. Careful, Callie. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> yeah. Oh, I have it in the trunk. Thank God. Yes, sir. With it being pretty much on the rims. That's not easy to push. Man. Especially up that big steep driveway. Right. All right. I'm going to get the pump. Let's do that. Let's do it. Number one helper here. <laughs> Baby Callie. Baby Callie. <laughs> yep. Man, I've always wanted a Honda Magna. Right. I'm not going to lie. Talk about being patient. It was well worth the wait. Thank you. Four hundred dollars. Four hundred bucks. Like you, it's hard to buy a used moped. Four hundred. <laughs> right. right. We're almost there, Kelly. Almost there, mama. Almost there, baby. Couple more bumps. <laughs> kind of wish we'd have did this before we before I tried to push it Bro, up the driveway. Yeah. <laughs> a little more. Good girl. Woohoo! Strong muscles. All right, we're good. Perfect. Perfect. To the next one, Kelly. To the next one. <laughs> uh, this might. Well, you can tell this yeah, is yeah, that completely one's shot. Needs to be replaced, but. I'll try and get some air in it because it's in a weird location. Yeah, I see. Oh, I see where it is. I want to try. I got it. Callie said, I want to try. You're good. You can go ahead, Callie. Hold on, let's bring it right over here, baby. <laughs> Hold on, let me put it on real quick, okay? Hold on, mamas. <laughs> so short. <Sean. laughs> good job. I appreciate all your help. Yeah. Good job, mama. Yeah, this, here, that this is a basketball pump. <laughs> right. It really doesn't want to. All right, go to mommy. Come here, baby girl. Go to mommy. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, man, now this is about to roll so easily. Right? Yeah, we always keep that pump in the car. Yes, we do. <laughs> I love you, babe. I love you, baby. Man, that's so cool. We were, like last second just to right? jump, just jump in the jump car, grab the trailer, the and, get the, and, get, and get the bike, dude. You know? Because like how so we are. many people were trying to get their hands on this bike. <laughs> All right. Woohoo! Yeah, it rolls a lot easier now. Oh, I can imagine, That's baby. Sure. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. Just trying to get it as centered as possible. Oh, yes. We're going to take a seat on this here hall. Yes, sir. Oh, my Ooh. goodness. 
Dang, like baby. Yeah. Okay, I see you. Wild hogs. Wild hogs, baby. Wow. <laughs> man, I can't wait to get this inside the house. Oh, man. Yeah, safe to say she's not going anywhere. Oh, no, she is here to stay. All right, little mama, let's get the straps and let's get her home. Let's get her home. So, as you can see, the ad says sold, y'all. Mm -hmm. Yep, we got the Magna, we're on our way home. I wanted to show you uh, the video that the guy was re referring to uh, when he asked me if I saw the video of the bike. Uh, this was the video of the bike running. Still can't believe we got this bike for 400. I was, I was ready to pay seven. Got the Honda Magna home, you do. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I want to talk about uh, future plans for this bike real quick. Obviously, I'm going to do a full fuel system refresh. I will be dumping the gas out of the gas tank. We're taking the carbs off. I'll be ordering a full carb rebuild kit. Um, obviously, uh, I will go ahead and film every little thing that I do to this bike uh, because she deserves to, you know, pretty much be bought, brought back to life, you know? Exactly. Uh, these bikes are known to easily get over 100,000 miles. One day I'll actually do a high mileage Magna video. Yep. Um, you know, just to show you guys how reliable these are, because they are tanks. Mm -hmm. so the key is never let your carbureted bike sit for like years. If you do, drain the gas tank. Before you drain the gas tank, let the gas, turn your pet cock off, yep. let the gas run out of the carbs until the bike shuts off. Yep. Then take the gas tank off and drain the fuel that's in that and you're good to go, yes, okay? Sir. Obviously, you're gonna wanna undo your battery as well if you plan on letting the bike sit for a few years. But uh, yeah, guys, I'm happy that we got the bike. Um, I'm super shocked that we got it for $400, $400. okay? Um, we were on our way to pick up another bike this morning it's actually called a V Star 1100, yes. but I remembered that last night I did uh, I did some um, what is that? I did some research on the V Star motorcycles, mm -hmm. and I learned that the V Star 1100 is absolutely the worst bike yes. out of all the V Star line no that way. you could buy. <laughs> if you were to get a V Star, you want to stick with the 2007 up V Star 1300s mm -hmm. or the V Star 950s. Yes. Okay. And um, yeah, I'm just trying to save anyone some time or money if that's a bike that we're looking into. Right. But yeah, once I really looked back at the advertisement, we were already on our way to get the V-Star. Yeah. I looked down, I thought it was a Honda, uh, what is that, a Honda Shadow yeah. 1100. That's what I thought it was. Because the Honda Shadow 1100 is known to be the most reliable, yeah. one of the most reliable cruisers ever made. Uh, but yeah, once I realized that it was the V-Star 1100, I told my wife, pump the brakes, yeah. <laughs> turn around, I don't want it, okay? Uh, because, uh, you know, I, I last night's research, it definitely yeah. scared me away from ever owning a V-Star 1100. Exactly. But back to the Magna. Oh, by the way, for anyone who's wondering, I was about to pay $1,000 for the yes. V-Star 1100, yes. and it wasn't even running. And it's just because I thought it was a Honda Shadow. Oh, you know, the guy had like 15,000 miles, yeah. you know, and I was, I was actually going to go through the bike very thoroughly, but... This is what patience does. Right. You see? So, guys, I want to show you, um, as I'm digging into the Honda Magna, man, oh, man. This is something I've never seen before, guys. <laughs> so, obviously, on the, when the guy was on the phone with the uh, other dude who was interested in the bike, I heard him tell the guy that he's try he tried to start up the bike and that it's just not wanting to run and that it's got old gas in it. Well, that was a complete lie, Okay, uh, what happened is this bike's been sitting for years, okay, for a long time. And when the guy who we bought the bike from, when he went to put the battery box on the battery, nothing electronic was working. Trust me, I can assure you that. Once you see what I found, you'll realize that it was absolutely impossible for anything electronic to function on this bike. So let's go ahead, let's dig into it. So I'm sitting here, obviously I removed the little compartment here and uh, you know, as I want to uh, replace the fuel pump, the fuel filter, and as I was picking some like, you know, nasty crud 
off of this here, I noticed that it moves. So I was like, oh, okay, let me just pull it out of here, right? Okay, so we go to, and I, I, I pull it out. Man, oh man, you guys are about to be like, what the heck? Look at the rectifier, guys. I can tell you right now, in all of my years, okay, buying motorcycles, I have never seen a rectifier with this much buildup. Yeah. Look at that corrosion. That's terrible. So that's awesome, guys, that uh, that quick I was able to determine exactly why this bike is not running. She just needs a new rectifier, a new battery, uh, fresh fuel, and she should fire right up. Man, oh man, I cannot wait for the next episode of our Magna V45. Should be an exciting one. Stay tuned.